What I will show you now is one of my favorite features of our AI assistant. Um, it is really, really useful in real world projects and it can save so much time. So what we have here, we have a template. Um, so we selected a template for our landing page. And it's a standard template. And then here we have the content for our landing page. And actually I asked Mr. Pinecon to take the, the content. I just copy pasted the text. And I asked Mr. Pinecon to split the content into sections using header, section and footer elements. And then I gave a name to each section. So here in properties panel, we have a field uh, called name. And here I gave each section a name. So hero, what we do, upcoming adventures, and so on. And now with this setup, so with content organized in sections that are named and the template that we want to use to display our website, we are ready to start using the AI Assistant to merge the content into the template. First, let's uh, collapse. I will click Alt and Collapse to collapse all the sections of the template. And then the process is done section by section. So first let's select like the, the hero section, the header section, and then click here on AI commands. And among presets, we have display the content of and then we select one of the named elements. So in this case, we will, sell, we will display the content of the hero content element. And we are using GPT 3.5 for this. So we will see what will be the result. If the content matches the, the template very well, then the result is good. But if, if the kind of the structure is not the same, then the results might not be optimal. So here we see the AI system did a good job when it comes to text and even customizing the, the testimonial. But we have some problems with images it replaced the SVG decorative images with images found in the project. So let's undo and let's try to use GPT-4. So here we toggle GPT-4 and then we repeat the same command, display content of hero section. So of course this took longer, but the result is much better. So we have like the, the green in the title and everything is nicely customized, including the testimonial images and the decorative SVG images are, are kind of kept in place. So in this case, I would recommend using GPT-4, it, it just you know, the results are better because the operation is much more complex. So now we can continue down to the next section. And here we, let's say, display the content of what we do. And the content and, and the layout of this template section doesn't have to match really one on one. And the AI assistant is instructed 
to be creative when it comes to merging the content. And here it is. So again, we have a nice, like everything cu is customized. Um, while the, the kind of the, the layout and design of the template stays in place. And you might wonder from where these images are coming from. So these are images, uh, local images stored in this project. To learn about that, please watch the next video about working with um, local images. So there's nothing really to fix here. So let's go down to the next section. And let's see. Display the content of we want to do upcoming adventures that would not really fit into this. So we have to kind of think about, you know, which section would match the the content the best. So here, why travel with us could be a good fit for this website section. Let's try. So while we wait, I can show you another trick. Like here we have, to, okay, this is, this is finished. So again, it did a good job. So why travel with us? You know, pine enthusiast, community, even love and marriage, because here we mentioned that like 20% of our travelers end up marrying each other. So it's quite creative and it does a very good job, not just m simply merging the content into the template, but also like adjusting and customizing both the template and the content. This is loading, it's some kind of JavaScript based feature. So let's just refresh the page view and it works. So this is a testimonial section and this is easy choice. So we will display the content of testimonials. And while this is running, we can go to the next section. And here we have, okay, we have like double to layout display of uh, kind of uh, information and we can, this might be suitable for displaying the upcoming adventures. So we can have multiple operations running at the same time. But one drawback is that we lose the ability to fine tune, to follow up on these actions. But if we think that they will run without um, needing a follow up, then we can save some time by running them in parallel. So let's do this one. So this would be good for displaying our blog posts. So now we have three operations running side by side. And one is finished. So upcoming adventures is done. And we have here a nice display for each adventure with calls to action, join the adventure, join the adventure. Also the most popular batch is here. And this text was also customized. I'm, I'm really happy with the result. So as I mentioned at the beginning, this is my favorite feature because it can save so much time. And the other ones are also done. So again, we have to refresh the page view. And here, our testimonials are here. Even the counters were updated. And down here, blog posts. So, before we had kind of, there were like companies logos here. We don't really need them. And now this is the strength of having AI assistant in Pinegrove alongside all these powerful visual editing tools. Because 
instead of now like messing up with with follow-ups and ex instructing the assistant to remove these images here, we can simply select them. I'm holding down Command or Control to select multiple items and remove them. And we are done with that. So we can use the AI Assistant when that makes sense. And then we can use the manual editing tools to refine the result to perfection. So what is next? Frequently asked questions. This is easy again. We will display the content of frequently asked questions. And now let's go down. So here it's uh, it's kind of form and we don't really have um, suitable content for that. So I will show you something else while this is running. And let's also do the footer. So select the footer and say display the content of footer. So while this is running, let's open the settings. And down here we have project settings and we have project brief and here we can describe the project um, like just a single sentence or two usually is enough so let's uh, describe what this landing page is about So we simply set a landing page for pine adventures, a travel agency specializing in exploring pine trees all around the world. Let's save it. So this is now a project setting. So it's saved in the project, not, glo not globally. So every project can have its own project brief. Okay, and let's check the frequently asked questions. It was nicely done. Everything works. Okay, so let's come back to this box. So now, with project brief set, we can say, and that's a different action. So here, redesign the, the element width. And then we can say, adjust to the project brief. So this will make the, the content of this element compatible with the project brief. So let's see. Okay, the footer is done. So here we have all, like the address, uh, and the social media links, and the subscribe box, like the text is okay. I'm happy with that, but the colors are not good. So let's just follow up and say use original colors, just change the content and labels. And here we have it. So we completed the whole landing page and it took us, I don't know, 10 minutes and maybe 20 cents. And we were able to update the whole landing page, you know, customize every detail with our project information. Doing this by hand would take hours. And now with this fast approach, we could easily open like uh, another template and try how the content would look there and repeat the process for a different template. So in this way we can easily come up with many variations. We can experiment and then we can, you know, show show those variations to our clients and get their feedback and and quickly iterate. So the this feature for me this is like the most valuable feature. It, it works amazingly and it saves so much time and it can be used on real-world projects uh, with your clients right now. So, hope you enjoy it as well, and I hope that this will save you lots and lots of time.